Welcome to JSA TV Live, coming to you today uh, live from Hawaii, from Waikiki, where we're together at PTC 2023. Um, great event so far, and I'm pleased to introduce with me today Mike LeBeau, uh, Senior Vice President of Location Strategy and Development, and Yushin Omurku, uh, Vice President of Development from Stream Data Centers. A bit of a mouthful, but I'm I'm happy. You did <laughs> yeah. a good job. You did a good job. You, you got I'm it. Happy to happy to introduce you. Uh, so, talk to us about the event so far. I mean, what's your experience been? The day two here, I think we are in uh, yeah. uh, PTC. Well, this morning I was up for a sunrise surf, so we oh, got nice. six thirty a.m. in the morning. We good got a you. diamond head. We've seen the sun coming up over the uh, uh, the island there, so you know, it's been rough. You know, really <laughs> rough. You're making yeah. the folks at home <laughs> yeah. a little yeah. jealous yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was on top good. of yesterday. We did a full team hike, so we went out. And oh, you did hiked up to a beautiful waterfall, and so it's been awesome team bonding. And you know Amazing what? You your T stream. We've worked with Stream for <laughs> quite a while. The the one thing consistently that comes through is is the team and the people, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. we're going to talk more about that. But yeah. speaking of team, you're both relatively new. I was saying this morning we talk to Stream all the time, and I have yet to have interviewed yeah, yeah. either of you. And it's because you're new to the Stream team since this time last year. Yeah, both um, of us. Tell us yeah. who who wants to start. Yeah. You know, how did you <laughs> for it. how did Mike. you end up here? And what's yeah, your role? Um, so we both came from the same team at Google, but um, when I was, we worked with the stream team and specifically Michael LaHood of the COO. Um, yeah. So like years ago, Michael and I were talking about different uh, business models and we were trying to figure something out to work for the Google team and contracting structure and um, basically ended up when I was ready for something new, um, pitching a new business idea to Michael and the partners at stream. Um, so the initial coming over was to start a new company. So we started at Headwater Site Development, which is focused on the early stage uh, site selection development process for data centers. Um, and then obviously an integrated platform here for location strategy and development works for stream data centers as well. So that was the initial like why I came over and how everything started. And Sheen was one of my best colleagues at Google and convinced right. him he to convinced come join him. us for the ride. Join the so, team. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, yeah. So, yeah. so for me, this is month three for me. Um, it, all, it already feels like it's been about a year to be yeah, honest. Yeah, month or year three. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. Yeah. Whatever that has happened. But um, so for me, I'm a civil structural engineer by background. Um, I worked with Google and the ELS and the site selection and the development team. Um, and then Mike had moved across. Um, I was also interested in exploring kind of the build to suit kind of third party data center world and like really try and sharpen skills there and um, yeah. so i reached out to mike after he moved across met michael LaHood, met the team and yeah as you said i think meeting the team kind of yeah there's no the no turning yeah, back once no you've met them right there, yeah. yeah they're like let's exactly. let's climb a mountain and talk yeah, about exactly. it right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. and host the uh that you know about host the boat ride yeah so like i our, heard about yeah, that yeah. i heard it was a fantastic Amazing. you know sort of yeah. team event and but it's like, you know, they're the type of team that's like, all right, what fun stuff can we do with our customers, our clients, right. and host school things? So, so we got nice. a catamaran yesterday. and yeah, Amazing. Like we said, yeah. amazing place to be for an event like this. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I spoke with some folks that had joined you yesterday. They said it was a fantastic event. Yeah, Everyone yeah. really enjoyed spending some time with you all on the water. It's, right. again, <laughs> sorry for those of you at yeah. home that aren't here, but... But yeah, so um, you, I want to come back to one of the things you said was you, you mentioned location strategy. Yep, so yep. talk about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've published a short article on this too. It's um, a lot of companies just use the term site selection. And I think what we are trying to accomplish is so much more than site selection. Um, so we call it location strategy because it's a very data driven approach. We look at uh, yeah. the data center market, the different metros, what demand signals are, um, absorption rates, and then uh, I mentioned earlier, so my current role, I wear two hats. One is headwater site development and running that new program, uh, and the other is stream data centers, and I kind of view it as a, a Venn diagram for location strategy. So yeah. there's a ton of data and analytics that go into where we should buy land, where we should try to deploy capacity. On the headwater side, we're trying to get out ahead of the market and try to guide the market on which metros to be in, um, and we look at all the critical location factors, we call them. So energy costs, tax incentives, um, developable land, uh, zoning, all, all the like the main big bucket items. And then 
trying to find land in the right places so that the whole industry can grow. And then for the data center side, it's stream data centers. Um, we're taking in a ton of information from our sales and um, customer sales team and, and their customer conversations and really just understanding what the demand signals are for the for the end users. So um, the location strategy side of it is really trying to get out ahead of the market and meet our customer demands and find sites in the best locations so that we can deploy capacity where it's needed. Right. So. Yeah. So let's talk 2023. I'm going to let you start and change you. So <laughs> Go for three months in, what are your goals? What are your goals for 2023 in so, your role and, and with, with yeah, the company? Yeah, so my, my role, I'm a VP of development for the stream data center side of things. Um, and my background is heavy civil structural engineering, worked in the process industry, the oil and gas industry, the biopharmaceutical industry. Um, and I think where stream is right now, I think everybody knows we're scaling at the moment. We're, we have some really good built suit opportunities and some large projects that are coming through. And, and my goal is like put those structures in place that allow us to deliver consistently and, and in a predictable manner. Um, I think the biggest one for me is like a lot of people initially they try and, and over promise and under deliver. I'm yeah. an under promise and over deliver kind of a person. So right. I think it good annoys Mike at times because yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, we can do it. And I'm like, like come on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a good dynamic. And I think for me, 2023, I think for us hitting dates, making delivery and making the megawatts appear like keeping it that simple is, is for me, there's obviously a lot behind it, but for me, that's going to be the core, right. yeah. core message. And what about for you? Well, I mean, what he was touching on, the part of the reason we recruited Oshin and wanted him to come join us is because he was the best I've ever worked with in terms of putting those processes in place. And he's, you know, he'll take the humble <laughs> we'll approach. But... He's like, wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> Put it on the review. Yeah, yeah anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, when I came over, it's like we're building on streams 23 years of success and they are a young, not young, but they're a, a small entrepreneurial organization. They've they're accountable. They get things done. They get them done well. And as we scale, one of the things that I talked to the leadership team about is we need structure and processes to really scale the platform and have a I use the terms robust and methodical process to really execute. And machine was running all of um, global site selection and development programmatic initiatives for Google. Yeah. And so kind of like bringing that expertise into our organization is going to allow us to execute for customers, have a really predictable delivery model, hit deadlines, deliver capacity. So that's that's the main goal is like build all those tools and processes so that we can have the foundation. <laughs> so a lot of, yeah, no, no big, you know, <laughs> way to set the bar really <laughs> low. For, um, so just, you know, one more thing I just wanted to touch on. Obviously, you know, you can see here we have greener data on here. It's a it's a big part of the conversation. It, it is consistently. I know that you guys work uh, with the infrastructure masons, as do we, and, and um, always pushing sort of this conversation around sustainability and what are some of the actions that, that we can take as an industry. And so I'm curious how this, your, some of what you've been talking about ties into ESG and, and sustainability from an industry perspective. On, on the front end, um, on the site selection location strategy, yeah. historically, a lot of the co-location companies, including Stream, have taken demand signals from the big players, and yeah. the big players are all focused on renewables 24-7. So they're entering the markets where that's already a known factor, and they're looking for markets where renewables are prevalent, and there's higher concentration of re renewables, lower uh, carbon footprint. but for the headwaters perspective, where I hope to be is more of a market leader and figure out where the markets are that both have low um, economic characteristics that we call it TCO, total cost of ownership. So low cost of energy, great tax incentives, overall low costs, um, but where there's a uh, high concentration of renewables and make that make the lives of our customers easier to hit their 100% renewable or 24 seven renewable goals. So where I hope that headwaters and stream go in the future is helping the market identify sites that are ready to go. We streamline that process for them, no pun intended. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, and just kind of like open those markets where it's a better, better fit. Yeah. And then on the, the development side of it, obviously the building and the embodied carbon that the building has within it is one of the areas where I think everybody is starting to target at the moment. Yeah. And I think like 
one of the opportunities that we're looking at with our design and construction team is always looking at our equipment, making sure it's as efficient as possible, participating in any local programs with utilities to make sure that we're using equipment as simple as lighting, like every little helps. Um, and then on the other side of it, as I noted, like concrete is a huge contributor in the, the steel. So it's looking at the manufacturing processes for concrete and steel to see how you can reduce that embodied carbon in, in what you're actually delivering. So yeah. I think that's going to be exciting for 2023 and beyond to see yeah. what can be done there. And it's nice to see your commitment on, I mean, on all of these fronts, whether it be sustainability or leadership or people or industry. Um, I, I, it's always seems like streams at, really at the forefront of all of these conversations. So we really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Mike. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate it. And thank you viewers for tuning into JSA TV Live, joining you here today from PTC 2023. See you soon. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you.